Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. Um, today I'm going to be trying a different uh, way of filming. I'm going to be talking to you whenever I feel like I have something to say during the drawing process instead of uh, doing a voiceover afterwards. That way I can explain my thought process and whatever. I'm going to be doing uh, some Harry Potter fan art where I'll be doing three different portraits of Harry, Ron, and Hermione, just the trio. Uh, I haven't done Harry Potter fan art that much before, but I'm going to be doing them um, on these three large uh, sheets of watercolor paper, one for each, uh, because I really like working on large scale. Um, so here I've been <laughs> sketching out some different ideas, and I really like this. Here you can see um, this format. Uh, so I'm going to be having their name on the bottom and just their faces up here. So I really like this Hermione and I think uh, I think I'm going to go with something like that. And I'm feeling this Ron and perhaps mm, this or I don't, I'm not really happy with the Harry yet, but I'm going to get there. Uh, so what I was planning to do now is just to get up some normal copy paper and just get going and start doodling and uh, trying to uh, sketching really and uh, try to find the right look for all of them and then make three like big sketches and then uh, eventually um, transfer them over to my watercolor paper so let's get going Okay, so I just finished the three sketches and I'm pretty happy with them all. Um, the only thing that I don't really like is the Hermione's head is a bit smaller than the boys um, and I want them to be uh, very unified. So I'm gonna try to, when transferring these over to uh, the watercolor paper, I'm gonna be sure to make um, equally large heads. So yeah, but anyways, I'm gonna get uh, over to um, transferring these over to watercolor papers so I'm gonna be able to paint them. with all three of the sketches and I'm pretty happy with how they look. Um, they don't really look like the first sketches that I did but I think that's why it's good to do a second round of sketches because they always turn out better when you're warmed up. Um, so I'm just gonna go to bed and continue some other day. Hi guys I'm back. Um, today I'm gonna start the watercoloring process of the three portraits. Uh, I think I'm just gonna I'll begin by applying a flat wash of color so that I have something to work off of. Uh, I often feel a bit intimidated when I've made sketches like these that I'm quite proud of and starting the actual painting. It feels a bit intimidating, but I find starting with just some flat washes is always a good idea. I think I'm going to start off with Ron's portrait and I'll be beginning by just squirting some water on all of the watercolors and they will be easier to use and i've got my water brush my paper towel 
and let's just start painting. Okay, so I know I said that I would only do flat washes, but when I was uh, starting to paint, I realized that it would be a lot easier to continue doing the shadowing. And so I did the contouring of the face and some shadows here. I did really uh, soft shadows under the hair too and in the ears, just because I already had the paint mixed. And so I thought it would be easier to just do it right away. And I also went ahead and did his hair. I'm not sure if I'm gonna apply some more washes there, maybe darken some areas, but I, I really like the result. I think it looks really soft and nice. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of him, and then I think I'll get back to you in a bit. So I'm done with, uh, I feel pretty much done with this portrait now. I have um, a few things about it that I'm not very happy about for once. Um, I don't like the tie. I don't know why I did it that way. Also, I don't really like the pupils that I made them so big, but I will have to do um, pretty much similarly in the other portraits as well, just for them to look the same. But otherwise, I'm really happy with it, so I'm just going to leave it to rest, and then maybe I'll go over it with colored pencils later. Uh, but I'm going to go over and do Hermione's now, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I am finally done with the water coloring and I am not entirely happy with how everything turned out. 
Um, as you can see, I left his glasses and I'm going to do them in uh, colored pencils instead because I just I just know that it, it will turn out better that way. I tried to make like a little shadow on his eyelid hair, but it turned out horribly bad. Uh, so I decided not to do it on the other eye and I'm going to try to do something good with that in uh, colored pencils. Um, then it turned out to be very hard to correct the eye shape of Hermione with watercolors. So I'm gonna try to do something good with the colored pencils there too. And um, I'm gonna go and add colored pencils to like the top of her eyelids too to make her look like she has some eyelashes. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do that for Ron and Harry too. And I'm just gonna define some like edges and shadows here and there. I'm pretty happy with how they've turned out, especially Harry and Ron. Hermione turned out a bit weird. I think I'm ready to just start coloring with the pencils and see where I can take these. So I am finally done with all of the pieces, I think. Um, so I didn't do that much correction and things on Ron because I think it turned out pretty good uh, from the beginning. On Hermione, well, I still don't like how she turned out. You saw me adding like some makeup and then defining a bunch of stuff. On Harry, I did a lot of things to his hair. I'm not happy with the color of this eye thing but overall like I'm pretty happy with these I feel like my main success with these are like the skin color I'm really happy that I've learned a bit more uh, how to color skin uh, better I'm gonna scan these into my computer and then I'm gonna edit them a little bit so let's let's go scan them in and fix them up in Photoshop <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just scanning in them and then I will be going over to Photoshop, touching up some things, mostly just trying to make it look as it looks in real life, removing of the dust particles and then just cleaning up the edges. And then I um, make sure to put them in a square format so that they look good in Instagram. And that's basically it. So now I am done. And this is how they turned out. Here is Ron, Harry, and Hermione. I hope to see you next week. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next week. Bye. Bye.